Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our explosives breakdown. Uh, today we will show you how the most efficient way to go through walls, doors and windows uh, seen from a purely from a software perspective. We did the video to uh, get an overview uh, ourselves and also to do the math right. We've seen a lot of examples on people testing all these things but it gets outdated right away and uh, we wanted to do our own thing. And also we wanted to figure out if there was any weird things about these explosives that we haven't figured out from all these hours of playing. Uh, so we want to make an in-depth analysis of these explosives. And we found actually some surprising things, such as uh, the true power of explosives ammo. And uh, actually we found one thing that takes fire damage, which actually shouldn't take fire damage, um, at least to our logic. And uh, in the end of the video, I'll actually show you something that we find very, very overpowered. Um, and in our opinion, it should be nerfed. Um, and who knows, maybe it will be. And we'll see if it will be, yeah. In the description, you can also find a link to the spreadsheet we've been using with all the data, all the damage of all the explosives on everything. And of course, if uh, you like and enjoy this video and find it informational, uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, yeah, hope you'll enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Start with the wood wall. So uh, these, this is the most efficient way to get in. Yeah, it is broken. Ah, ah! Shit. Okay, I'll show the stone wall here. And uh, these are the resources it will cost you to get through. And uh, this is the most efficient way to get through, to use these. Next one is the iron wall, and the best way to get through this is by using these, three of these, and so here's the big boy. So to get through these, uh, this armored wall, you need quite a lot of explosives, but uh, I'll show you. So that's how you get through one of those. As for the armored door, this is a bit different. Uh, Actually here, the most efficient way to go through is actually just by throwing two of these when it comes to the sulfur cost only. <clears throat> Another way you could get through is by uh, is by using one timed explosive and then uh, shoot it 90 times with the explosive ammo. Um, that way you will only spend 50 more sulfur. As for these, the cheapest way to get through is to just shoot it with explosive ammo. 63 or 64 you need. So 3 or 4 more shots, we should be there. 3. So next at the garage door. The most efficient way is to use one of these and then shoot it 40 times. There you go. When it comes to the window bars, uh, maybe not a lot of people have these, the wooden window bars and it would probably be easier to just use a hatchet or something. But if you want to use the explosives to go through these, um, you just need 50 explosive rounds. 
If I could hit them all, that would be great. Guess I can't. And you're through. So the next window is uh, these, the armored, no, sorry, the metal window bars and uh, reinforced glass window. It's it's actually acting exactly the same. So uh, I've just used this window to make it more e much easier to actually hit it. Um, so what you need to go through this is uh, just uh, two time explosives. That's actually the cheapest way to go through. And the funny thing is that the, this window and the, the other window, the metal window bars, has actually, it acts exactly the same as an armored door. So even though it only has 500 health, uh, and the armored door has 800, it will take the exact same amount of um, yeah explosives to get through. And that's because the, it has a different uh, damage multiplier. So if you look at the reinforced window bars, uh, the cheapest way to go through is to use two of these and then you need to shoot it 80 times and it's done so here's actually uh, an interesting thing that we found out these uh, metal embrasures they have a very special property so basically they act like the metal window uh, bars but there's one thing they one weakness they have that's this i'll show you okay we need some fire so the thing about these metal embrasures is that they take they actually take fire damage as you can see here it's quite a lot, and you can even give it a bit more here. Oh, just reload. So as you can see now, it takes quite a lot of uh, damage just from the fire. Which, yeah, maybe it shouldn't, but uh, I guess that's up to face punch. So actually now I want to show you the OP tricks that I was mentioning and uh, it has to do with the explosives ammo and after we did this video and all these calculations we've actually um, been reading a lot with the explosives ammo because they are so efficient and the thing is that you can put on a, a silencer on your weapon and you can actually not hear uh, anything from not very far away so you can almost do like a ninja raid, a silent raid. Um, but the thing is here, for example, if you have these two doors, you can actually just shoot here, here in the middle, and it will damage both doors and it will destroy both. Yeah, so now you actually spent very little sulfur just to, to get these down if you have to compare it to other explosives. Okay, I think we'll wait for it to become day again. Okay, so I decided first not to wait for it to get day again and I put off this light so we can see a bit. So uh, the thing is with the explosive uh, ammo, you can actually damage all four walls at the same time. So effectively, if you are quite precise, um, you can take down four walls for the same cost as one wall, um, which is very, very effective. And uh, since we found out, we actually started doing this quite a lot. And I think it's very OP because you'll save so much sulfur by doing this. Um, but as you can see here, I've already marked like the cross in between all four walls, like here in the middle. And I'll just show you when I shoot it. Oh, where did it go? I did it too long ago. I'll just make a new one. Right here. Right above that. There. 
So if we shoot here a couple of times. Show you here. As you can see, they all took damage from this. It's quite effective. Um, but the I'm not really sure why, but the wooden walls doesn't uh, the same rules doesn't apply to the wooden walls. When you shoot right and across, actually none of them takes damage, which is uh, very interesting, very weird compared to the others. Why why the wooden walls are different? I have no idea. As you can see, I just shot right in the middle and none of them lost any HP. But as soon as I move to the armored, or the missile, or the stone wall, you can actually shoot all four walls at the same time. You could also effectively shoot like in here, and you will damage all these four walls. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed our little calculation on how to get in through everything the cheapest way when it comes to sulfur. Uh, if you like the video, I hope you will uh, like and subscribe. It will help us out a lot. And uh, yeah, hope you will enjoy. And as I mentioned earlier, we made a spreadsheet. Uh, you can find it in the description. And uh, here you can also find the damage on high external walls and shop front and so on. Uh, and you can make your own analysis from all these data. See you in the next video.